Sometimes uh, they talk uh, some misconception about Islam. Uh, like such as uh, hijab is not duty, living beard is not important, or uh, there are many Muslims who doesn't pray and it's fine. And I want to correct it, but if it is, if I say it in front of uh, this crowd, many many Japanese, uh, it's like uh, this uh, this uh, respectful. I felt so I, I didn't know what to do, and I was being silent until the end, and I felt so guilty. Mm. I don't I, I didn't understand what to do at that time. Of course, um, you had a duty of correcting them, not necessarily right on the spot, but soon after the meeting is concluded, you should address the speakers and say, if you say that a Muslim cannot pray, and it is okay if he doesn't pray, that's a lie. You lie not only against the Messenger of Allah, but against Allah Himself. Saying that it is okay for a Muslim woman not to wear hijab, then that's another lie against Allah the Almighty and so on. It is very unfortunate that some modern, not necessarily dua, but activists, let me put it this way, in order to attract more and more people towards the semi-deen, it is not actually deen. So they say, it's sufficient to say La ilaha illallah even if you don't pray, even if you don't uh, uh, follow halal and haram, the doctrine of Islam, which is not true. So La ilaha illallah is the key to enter paradise. There is no key without a specific print for it. So to, add, to enter the key and turn the key, it must have certain figures of teeth. Without these teeth, without the requirements of the Sharia, ah, without offering the prayers, without fasting, without following halal and haram, you're not actually following Islam. And Allah the Almighty said that in Surah uh, An-Nisa, chapter number 4, ayah number 65, فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ حَتَّى يُحَكِّمُوكَ فِيمَا شَجَرَ بَيْنَهُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُوا فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَرَجًا مِمَّا قَضَيْتَ so people who deliver the message to non-Muslims or non-practicing Muslims and they lie and they say it is okay as long as your heart is full of Iman even if you don't pray, even if you don't fast, even if a woman doesn't wear hijab, you're okay. That's a plain lie. Allah didn't say that. The Prophet said if you don't pray deliberately without a reason such as women during their menses, somebody is in coma, then if you don't pray, you're not from among Muslims. You're from among non-Muslims. This is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. So if you want to be part of any da'wah group, the first step should come first, which is learn. In the sound hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Khairukum, the best of all of you, man ta'allam al-Qur'an, the intake, you learn first the Qur'an. Then then you teach it to others. What many people do right now is they jump into conclusion. They want to become dua without learning themselves about the deen, the requirement of the deen. That is not fair, nor is it acceptable. In the hadith, the sound hadith, which is collected by Imam Bukhari, the Prophet said, True, convey from me even if it is a single ayah, if you know it, if you digest it. But if you don't, then you're better off not to talk about the deen or try to invite people and rather mislead them. May Allah guide us what is best. So your duty, uh, respected brother Shaheen, is to convey this message crystal clear to those who are giving da'wah. Thank you, brother. I remember once in my visit to Japan uh, and I was teaching uh, new Muslim uh, sisters and I came to know about one sister, her husband, uh, who's originally Muslim from, uh, you know, one of the Muslim Asian countries. And he taught her that the prayers four times a day, not five, only four times a day. And I'm sure <clears throat> you can figure out on your own which prayer did he drop. And I will tell you why. He dropped the Fajr prayer. He said the prayers are four. Zuhr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. And she was practicing until she attended the conference and she came to find out that he's lying to her and she divorced him. So he knew that if she were to know 
everything perfectly, she would practice it. He himself doesn't want to wake up early to pray Fajr. So brothers and sisters, either you give da'wah properly or just take care of yourself, you're better off.